What's up everybody? I hope you all had a great Christmas or are having a great Christmas. I guess that depends on when I get this video up. But uh, yeah, regardless, I hope you really did have a great Christmas with family and friends. Really enjoyed the time. You know, maybe got some good gifts and everything. And uh, you know, as for me, I actually did decide to save one gift for today to actually open up on Christmas. Even though I'm not big into traditions, I still just wanted to save at least one item. So um, this item here comes from Cali Pops. He has a YouTube channel, which I will link down below. And uh, he's definitely been very supportive of my channel. And uh, you know, we've done, I don't know how many, I know we've done trades before and he's looked out for me with some figures. So definitely appreciate that. And he sent something my way here. So I actually went ahead and opened the box up, but I haven't pulled the item out yet and I'm about to go ahead and do that right now and this is something I've been wanting for a long time but I just could not find it in my area and he saw several of them in his area and this is the metals die cast Hulk Buster which looks pretty incredible so very happy to finally have this in my collection I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get him out of the package here but yeah I will say if you're looking for this uh, check Target stores check Toys R Us it seems like they're suddenly showing up in some stores I'm not sure why that is now but uh, yeah I really do like metals die cast figures overall I don't collect a lot of them just because some of the body scopes can be awkward let me see if I can show you on the back here like yeah okay so if you look at the back here they are very like top heavy with their arms. The arms are very heavy, the torso too, and then they have kind of thin legs. So some of them don't stand very well. And it, with the shape of the packaging, it's like this almost pyramid type shape. I don't really like to keep them in the package. I like to go ahead and take them out. But then, like I said, you have some figures that just don't stand very well. Like if you look at Falcon there, look at the wingspan, <laughs> you know, with him, the wingspan there, and then the giant arms. That's just. Yeah, you have to be very careful with these figures and they are very heavy so you know because they are mostly made of metal so when they fall over they really can do damage to things around them and I've had um, some figures fall over some um, metals die cats figures fall over before and kind of push other items around so you do have to be kind of careful with these but um, they do have some new ones out that I've seen in some people's videos including I think they have an anti-venom now I don't even have venom yet I think actually I'm looking back to make sure because I got so many items I have to try to keep track but yeah I don't think I have the Venom one yet I don't see it with my other Venom figures so yeah I wouldn't mind getting Venom and then Anti-Venom and maybe Carnage if they have a paint job for that one too but yeah enough about those other figures let me go ahead and get this one out of the packaging here he is out of the packaging and yeah this is a very heavy duty figure here it's not too heavy but it does feel very solid it has some nice weight to it um, I noticed with the arms, as I was taking it out, the feels like there's almost articulation to them, but not really. I mean, the, the most that these figures tend to do is like swivel at the waist, but this one being this, you know, the Hulk Buster, I mean, it doesn't do that. One very cool thing about it, and as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and kind of do 360 here, you know, let you check out all angles of it. Yeah, got a big, big feet going on there yeah this this is just very solid i i really do like the metal um you know the way it catches the light this just looks really cool but um yeah as i was saying with the articulation there really is an articulation to it but the head does open up here and the reason it does that because you may have noticed um if you hadn't seen this before it does come with an iron man figure here okay so there we got the little iron man figure which actually can go inside of here the way that it does within the movie Hey, yeah, and it just fits nicely in there, and you actually can close it up. So, I do like that detail that they did with this. I mean, it sounds a little rickety in there, but, you know, it's not meant to really move around. So, yeah, I definitely like that detail. And like I said, you know, this is not a type of thing that I would keep in the box. I'll probably save the box, but it's not really a big deal, though. But, yeah, I really do like the look of this. Really appreciate this, Cali Pops. Thank you so much for sending this my way. Oh, I see Frieza fell over. He'll be all right, though. Okay, so, yeah, I'm definitely a fan of the Hulkbuster. I really do like the design. As a matter of fact, I also have here, there's the uh, Mystery Mini by Funko, which was very easy to find because I could feel the weight of it in the box. And, I mean, when you squeeze the box, like, if you just gave it a little squeeze, you could tell that this was the figure in there. And, of course, this being um, with the Avengers 2, you know, Age of Ultron 
mystery mini set so this one would be tough to find now in the wild because I really don't see those boxes anymore but if you ever come across them and there is a Hulkbuster in the mix pretty easy one to find okay then I also have the Disney Infinity figure which is really well designed also I actually like this a lot more than the mystery mini the mystery mini is okay but I think the head looks a little awkward on that one I'm especially not crazy about this separation that it has there with the head I mean you only see it from that angle but it still is just a little awkward to me but yeah the Disney Infinity figure I really do like it I think it's really well designed these figures in general are really well designed and there's still some of these that I would like to get not just Marvel one either as there's um, some other ones but some of them actually still fetch kind of a decent price like um for example syndrome from and the Incredibles I think that one's kind of difficult to get your hands on with one I would like to have I don't know if I'll ever catch up to it though but and then of course here I also have the Hulkbuster pop figure I don't know if I've ever taken this out of the box if I did it was maybe once when I first got it and that was probably about it but I do want to get it out just to kind of compare it to the metals die cast figure so I'm gonna carefully take this out of its box so here we have the pop and of course bobblehead because it is Marvel and now that I have it in hand yeah I'm really thinking I never took this out before because I really don't recall ever holding this you know previously but um yeah I think this one looks pretty cool to the head with the you know with it being a bobblehead is a little bit awkward but the body sculpt is very much on point it has a nice wide feet there you know very sturdy of course yeah, do a quick 360 here and you see some of the detailing is very similar to the metals die cast figure okay, and let's look at them side by side and let me make some room slide these fellas over here and I didn't realize it at first yeah the metals die cast figure is actually bigger I mean I didn't even I couldn't even really tell at first but yeah it's definitely bigger and it does have that darker red paint job to it I think they both look really good in their own way um, I don't know, it's tough, it's tough to say. I feel like the Metal's die cast figure might be a little bit more accurate to the way the Hulkbuster figure tends to look, but I definitely like the pop as well. Okay, so let's closer look at them side by side. Yeah, and I really like both of them. And um, of course, with uh, uh, Disney, not Disney, <laughs> I had Disney on the brain there, but um, with Avengers Infinity War on the way, there will be another Hulkbuster figure which I'll probably only get it if it is substantially different from you know this pop figure already so hopefully they really will do something interesting with the design even within the movie I hope it looks you know pretty different and has some different um weapons and things going on with it from the um if, you know from the trailer for the movie I really couldn't tell if anything was different with the Hulkbuster if anybody noticed please let me know but I really could not tell from that trailer I slid back those Hulkbuster figures just so I could give you my quick impressions on the Collector Core Hulk box, which you know obviously released for the month of December. And I know a lot of you have seen it at this point. Some of you may still not want to see it if you haven't gotten your own box, and that's fine if you check out of the video. But yeah, I'm pretty sure a lot of you by now have seen the content, so I'm just gonna very quickly share my thoughts about it. Of course, they have a spoiler card with it, and I'm still not so sure what they're going to do with this next theme. You know, um, and I forget the name of the particular theme. I know it has something to do with, like, wild, wildness, whatever it might be. But, um, yeah, I already talked about it in one of the Funko News videos, some things that I think they could do. So I'm not exactly going to really get into that right now. Hopefully, it'll turn out to be a cool box, and there'll be something unexpected in there. That's what I really would like, something that, you know, is not, not typical and... I really think Funko can get back to doing maybe some obscure characters within the boxes as well. So the t-shirt which smells very fresh and new. <laughs> I really do like that design. It actually looks even better up close than it did in the images. So yeah, it has the transformation going on of course. Bruce Banner to the Hulk. So I think they did a great job with that. Yeah, really good colors to it. Okay, So I definitely will be rocking that. Then. This next item, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the bag. And I know some people were not crazy about this, but it works for me. I'm cool with it. You know, the Dorbs here, the Dorbs stress ball of the Hulk. I think it's cute. And I mean, it's, it is clever, I think, for them to do a stress ball in a Hulk box. 
So I imagine that some people won't be happy with these or just not really care about these. But you know, it's at least a good gift to pass along to somebody else. So I think it's fine. And I'm actually going to hang on to mine. Probably get some use out of it <laughs> too. Okay, then next here we got the Pocket Pop Gladiator Hulk. I think that was a pretty easy decision to go with. This one, I know I'm not going to use it. I'm definitely going to maintain this one and keep it in the box. And I'll put this along with my other Marvel figures. So, in fact, I'll put it right over near my Gladiator Hulk Pop. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to take that one out. Then we got the patch, which... I'm not really big on the patches. I know a lot of people get frustrated when they don't have patches because people collect them consistently. But, you know, it's not a big thing to me. I'll put this in a shadow box at some point. As a matter of fact, I think I have more than enough for another shadow box. So that's something I need to actually get to. And um, I do have one completed shadow box. And I think I will, you know, try to get more going. It is something good to do with these patches and pins. And if you've never seen a shadow box, you could definitely, um, you know, look them up, check them out. There's all different kinds. But it's basically just a way to put small items together and display them in, in a frame, basically. Okay, so, of course, the big ticket item here is the Hulk and Bruce Banner, which they did a really good job with. I like that they actually put the two figures together in the way that they did, you know, kind of uh, mimicking the cover of the first Hulk comic, which they actually put on the back, which, again, is another very nice touch. Yeah, so I really am glad that they did that. Can you see it says here based on the Hulk first appearance? Now I thought it was common knowledge at this point that um, Hulk was originally gray, but it turns out that some people did not know that, and some people were actually surprised to see this version of the Hulk. But yeah, he started off as gray, and then Marvel had trouble keeping the color consistent, and that's why they changed him to green. Okay, that's according to what I've heard multiple times. So yeah, it was just about getting the color more consistent. And I think part of it, too, was probably just basically bringing more color to the comic to make it look more interesting. So I actually have unboxed the pops, and I can see it's going to be a little bit tricky to put them back in together, but that's fine. So Bruce Banner there, okay, which I think looks pretty good. Of course, I like the glasses on him. Yeah, and the color is so 70s with those pants <laughs> there. And I like that the uh, the coat as well actually is like kind of flipped up there. And the tie is a little disheveled. It actually looks like he has some movement to him. Like he's actually been, you know, working. Actually working in the lab. So, yeah, I really do like that they actually put some thought into this pop also. And it didn't just make it all about the Hulk. You know, it's also about Bruce Banner here. Which, um, somebody did point out to me that he originally was David Banner, but... He's known as Bruce Banner now, so I refer to him as Bruce Banner, you know. I, I think that's the name that's widely accepted. So, yeah, if if, um, if Marvel decides to change the name, then I go with the name that they, they decide to stick with, you know. So, then we have the Hulk Pop, which I still have some mixed feelings about. Overall, I think it's phenomenal. I mean, I really do like the body sculpt. Um, it looks great here, the tearing, you know, of uh, the clothing. And just the colors, even though it's gray, I mean, you know, it's the gray Hulk. Still, I mean, the gray of the clothing and the gray of the skin is different enough where it actually creates an interesting parallel there. And then, I mean, the hair is very, you know, flashback style too. I mean, back to a different era, okay, which works well for me. Okay, then let me see, let you see the back here real quick. See some more tearing of the clothing. Yeah, so overall, oh, there's a paint drip there that's, eh could be better paint job yeah on the back could be better I'm seeing that now and this looks like a different color drip there I'm not even sure it might be just a spot that could be rubbed out not a big deal but yeah the main thing is that it's a bobblehead so I do think the neck looks a little bit funny that happens sometimes with Marvel figures you know so yeah I'm not so sure how I feel about that maybe I mean it would look a little bit better if this was maybe a little bit lower you know, and you couldn't see the spring still so quite so easily. But it could be the way that mine is set. I'm sure that, you know, different people's the heads are set slightly differently. If you have this figure, you know, let me know how yours looks, how yours turned out. That's if you take it out of the box. I have a lot of, I mean, I have a feeling that a lot of people are not going to take this out of the box. You know, I think some people will hang on to it and just probably never unbox it. And then you do have some people already that are putting it up for sale. And, um... I know I saw in uh, the Bearded Pop Hunters video in a store it was listed where they had it um, up for like $50 and it seems like that's what people are trying to get for it um, online as well and on Facebook, eBay, whatever, you know, but for me, I really appreciate it. I do want to keep it 
in my collection and um, I just realized here too these are both six inch figures there but you see that the Hulk is definitely bigger than the Hulk Buster which I guess is the way that it should be I think that's the way it normally is in the comics that um well it seems like it, it can be either way now that I think about it sometimes I see the Hulk Buster bigger sometimes I see the Hulk bigger so um, if you're a big comic fan let me know which way it usually goes which one of those is bigger either the Hulk Buster or the Hulk himself and then I know that um and depending on what storyline you read, what version of the Hulk it is, his size actually can be different. That's why they did that in that Ang Lee movie, that not so great <laughs> Ang Lee movie, that his size actually was different each time that he changed. But yeah, just let me know what you think about the scale of these figures. And all together, what do you think about you know the um this Hulk box? I think that uh, Funko did a pretty good job. I like that they went somewhere that I I really didn't think of. You know, I still would like to see a Joe Fix-It version of the Hulk. I mean, just Hulk looking like a gangster in pinstripe suit, maybe even with a Tommy gun. That would be crazy to see, but I would absolutely love it. I don't know if Funko would go that obscure with it, but it would be very cool. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video pretty much. Um, Cali Pops, again, thank you so much for sending this gift my way of, you know, the Metals Diecast Hulk Buster back there, which I am going to proudly display. i got to find a good spot where he won't, you know, fall down and crush anything. But I'll definitely work that out. Um, just an awesome gift, and I'm so glad to finally have that in my collection. I think it's been collecting dust in my Amazon wish list for the longest time, so I can finally get it up out of there. But, yeah, um... Again, I hope everybody had a really great Christmas, really enjoyed yourselves, and, um, you know, going into the New Year's, I hope you got some fun plans and everything. Just really enjoy yourself, take the time to enjoy family and friends, and just really appreciate life, basically. But yeah, that's going to do it for now, and I will talk to you all again real soon.